What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Josh here from Polymathics, and today uh, we're going to use Hulk as an example about becoming an expert. Now, um, I'm going to assume that the majority of you who are watching this are in the military, which means that you're somewhere around my age, give or take 10 or so years, which means you should all vaguely be familiar with the superhero Hulk. Um, also, the fact that the Avengers film was one of the most heavily grossing films of all time, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that if you're American, um, you have a pretty idea, pretty good idea of who the Hulk is. And as we all know, um, his true identity is Bruce Banner. And before he took on the superpowers of the Hulk, he actually was just a brilliant scientist, a little bit of a mad scientist who was trying to perfect um, a solution that, uh, in order to provide superhuman powers. Uh, and um, But the point is, um, if for those of you that have seen the movie, and like I said, because it was one of the top grossing movies of all time, and I will continue to flaunt that because I'm a big Marvel nerd, um, then I'm going to assume that, that you know that you've seen it. And um, one of the things that we see is that for the Avengers initiative, Nick Fury, who is the, the person who brought all the Avengers together, he's kind of the, the spy of all spies, he had been constantly keeping an eye on Bruce Banner. And when the dilemma with Loki hit, <clears throat> they immediately knew that they needed an expert on gamma rays. And lo and behold, that was Bruce Banner. Now, here's the problem. They also knew that he was the Hulk, which was this monster of a creature that had no control over his emotions and had leveled cities in the past. So, um, so probably the big, the biggest risk that they could take, and, and even in one part of the film, the Hulk kind of destroys like half the ship, has a fight with Thor, and totally rips apart a plane. But, um, the, the point is, despite all of the Hulk's flaws, all of his character flaws and, 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 and the risk that came with him, they, the Avengers decided that they still needed him because he was an expert. And so where does all this translate to for your job search? As you go through not just your job search but your career and life you should be constantly looking for opportunities to increase your knowledge particularly in those skills or that one or two subjects that are are really your wheelhouse your sweet spot and become the expert become the guru become the one person that people will come to and the reason why this is important is because we all have character flaws we all have a little bit of the Hulk inside of us. There's always something, you know, that that could be left desired. And people see that sometimes. But they're willing to let that go if they know that you are the end-all, be-all authority on a topic. There's a gentleman that I knew in an office that I used to work in. And um, he was... He was... A subject matter expert knew everything there was to know about his particular topic and um, and the community that I was in bent over backwards to make sure he was taken care of financially and in uh, in other ways just because they need they knew they needed him and um, this guy was I mean he was a great guy He's a little weird, but um, you know, he uh, he's a little grumpy all the time, and he always 
had his shoes off. He was always walking around in his socks. Sometimes didn't seem to bathe. But um, but this is what I mean. Because he was an expert, because he had dedicated so much, and people could see his passion for his work, his love for his work, the amount of dedication that he had for it, it kind of washed away all sins. And and like I said, even though, you know, looking at the guy, initially, if I had met him on the street, I'd think, ah, eh, you know, probably stay away from him. Once I got to know him, once I saw his value, um, you know, I can say to this day, he was a, he was a really good guy and um, worth working with. And I believe that's the kind of reputation that you always want to carry with you. And so... Um, as you're going through life and your your job search keep in mind those two things right one you have character flaws you know in many ways we are like the Hulk we there are things that people see in us that we don't always see that are a little tacky you know that are a little frustrating but people are willing to let those things go if you have something to bring to the table if you have value to bring to the table. Now, <clears throat> what I want you guys to do is um, think about what you could do today to take action on that. You know, find um, one or two, maybe a book or an article in your related field and just every day immerse yourself in the thing that you want to become an expert in. You know, make videos. Part of one of the best parts of learning something is actually teaching it because there's a higher level of learning, a higher level of mastery and expertise when you begin to teach a subject. Uh, rather than just consuming, now you are creating. And the whole method of creating and translating an idea from thought to and articulating it to someone else and transmitting it in a message that makes sense to them that has value to them um, that's a whole different process so um, you know all of us are at different stages and levels in our journey um, whether it's a job search or life or relationships so um, keep that in mind it's not always like your part of your journey may not be learning any new material maybe now it's starting to take on apprentices starting to take on students or or supervisees whatever the case may be and teaching them you know um building up your minions and, and creating acolytes but um anyways i hope this information has been helpful and if you'd like more information like than that like like this then please feel free to give me a like, subscribe, and check out some more of my videos. But um, anyways, thanks for checking me out. Good luck. God bless. Take it easy.